You gotta love when you're just about to leave and uh, the parcel guy shows up with a boxy charm. You're like, get the kids in the car, I'll be right back. So anyways, you guys, I just got this, haven't looked inside. I did see like a sneak peek of what's coming, um, I wanna say on Instagram, so hopefully what I saw is in here. If you guys don't know, you guys, BoxyCharm, you guys all know, it's a monthly subscription, $21, and you get full-size products, you guys. And BoxyCharm, out of all of the boxes just across the board that I've ever received, that I ever purchased, is my favorite. For $21, you get full-size products, and for me, it's products that I actually use. When some of the other boxes first came out, I like subscribed to all of them, but I ended up just having this like bin of like sample size stuff that I never was gonna use, so I canceled all of them. Okay, this month is Would You Be My Galentine? Um, so let's see how many things. There's one, two, three, four, five things. The retail prices are $39.95, $12, $20, $79, and $14. Okay, so I'm going to, you guys, I'm just chucking stuff over here. Okay, okay, I have been loving Dr. Brandt stuff. Um, I've been using the Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer under my makeup. And what else have I been using? I used a Dr. Brandt something skincare, but anyways, this is the big ticket item here. It's the... Uh, Dr. Brandt Microderm Abrasion Age Defying Exfoliator. It renews skin um, and polishes and smooths. And that's what it looks like, you guys. I love exfoliators and I love microderm abrasion ones because I feel like they're a little more, this is gonna sound so bad, sharp, because you don't want sharp things on your skin. I just feel like it does a really good a job of smoothing your skin especially I've been using a lot of acne products lately because I've just been breaking out really bad and if you guys know most acne products dry out your skin so my skin's also been really flaky so um, I've been using a lot of um, scrubs and stuff like that so I'm excited for that let's put this guy right here I try to put like stuff I need to use where I can visually see it and then I'll remember to grab it and use it. Okay, the next thing are these two Makeup Geek eyeshadows and one of them is in Beaches and Cream. It's kind of like a, like a very nude peachy color. And then the other one is in Glamorous and it is also kind of like a nudey peachy coppery um, color and it looks like it has some shimmer in it and this is what I was excited for oh this is the small one I have been wanting a Z palette for a long time and I want to say it was at the Issy show or some beauty convention I like picked I looked at them a couple of times like I made a couple loops around I'm like do I buy it do I not and then I regretted not buying it and then after that I was like I just can't buy it full price after I could have bought it cheaper but anyways um, this is a, a Z palette for boxy charm for um, you know like loose eyeshadows like those uh, makeup geek ones and this is really cute oh and it comes with stickers inside and that's so if some of your pans are not magnetic or whatever, you can stick it on the back and then it can stick in here, which is really nice. Because if you guys are like me, I feel like I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes where I use like one or two of the colors. I don't use the whole palette. And especially if you're traveling, you don't want to be like carrying around like 10 different palettes. You can just pop out the ones you like and put them in a palette like that, which is really nice. Um, okay, the next thing is a Japonesque pro performance lipstick and this one is in the shade 12 let's see i'm trying to think if i've ever used any japanese makeup i think i've only used their brush stuff Ooh, look at how pretty that is it's like watercolor and it's like rounded Ooh, look at that it's like a really pretty um orangey red i'm sorry if you can hear my kids screaming i thought they went outside with dad but um my friends just gave them these little toys that like poop out candy so they're like super excited okay and then the last thing are these three um brushes Ooh! three brushes by sedona lace let me open them up um, i haven't heard of sedona lace in a while i feel like a couple years back a lot of people were using a lot of sedona lace stuff but, ooh, okay, this is a really good, like, blending, like, in your crease kind of brush. I like that it's, like, pink and brown. 
And then there is, ooh, this one's a good one too. It's a eyebrow brush and then it has a spoolie on the end, which I actually need because I think I lost my one with a spoolie somewhere. We were somewhere and I just never saw it again. And then the last one is a gel eyeliner brush and it is bent. So as you can see, that's pretty um, good stuff for $21, especially the fact that you get that Dr. Brandt microdermabrasion scrub. So anyways, you guys, that is the BoxyCharm for February. I hope you guys are all doing really well, you guys. I know it's Valentine's Day next week, and I know that Valentine's Day for some people is not like happy. Listen, I have spent many years single and I say go out with your girlfriends, treat yourself. If you don't want to go out with your girlfriends, like stay in or buy yourself flowers or something. You know what I mean? Like you, I feel like it's a good day for like self love as well as receiving love from others. If you and a bunch of your girlfriends are single, buy each other presents. You know what I mean? Like do not for a second feel bad because listen, the better you are as a single person, the better you're going to be in a relationship. And I would rather be by myself and work on myself um, than be in a relationship that's bad for me or just not the best. And the uh, another mom advice, another mom advice for the single ladies. I always think, you know, we're waiting for the perfect man to come. But if the perfect man comes, are you the perfect girl for him? So use the time wisely to better yourself because when that man comes along, you want to be just as good as he is because you know you're not going to settle for anything but the best. So anyways, you guys, sorry for the mini blurb, uh, but I love you guys. Have a very happy Valentine's Day. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are interested in a boxy charm, I'm going to leave the link below. And you guys, I, I feel like a lot of people have been saying that they're not notified when a new video comes up on uh, YouTube. So if that's you, please make sure you click that little bell and let me know even if you've clicked the bell and it doesn't show up because that's been happening to a lot of people as well. YouTube's been a little bit glitchy lately. So anyways, I hope you guys all have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Bye.